Welcome to episode 29, Carlos Slim, 12 Lessons. This is an outline of lesson 1 to lesson 6. This is an outline of lesson 7 to lesson 12. Lesson number 1, Understand Stages of Development. Futurist author Elvin Toffler is a personal friend of Carlos Slim. Carlos Slim credits Elvin Toffler for his ability to discover investment opportunities. Lesson number two, start very young. Under his father's guidance, he invested in bonds at the age of 11, and he invested in railroad stock at the age of 12. I think I always uh, know that I was going to be a businessman because I began to invest when I was 10 or 12 years. I began to make my, my first investments. I opened my check account, and I was investing already very young. Surplus of income, against my expense. Lesson number three, be a math wizard. He was a lecturer on algebra and linear programming at the university. But uh, I began to give classes, classes like a professor in the university when I was in third grade. Lesson number four, understand technology and the surface society. First of all, I think that uh, telecommunications is like a nervous system of the new civilization. That, uh, in this new civilization, like what I, was I, I was telling, is a civilization of services. Technology has gone so, so, so far that productivity is very high. And when you have productivity very high, you can create goods and services very, very low cost and very, in very important scale. That means that uh, people don't need to work so much, so much time, and uh, uh, the productivity is so high is create uh, wealth more easy. Lesson number five, work very hard. Lesson number six, move very fast. You can develop the company. I think uh, more than instinct is, uh, is uh, knowledge, look the numbers, like I told you, numbers talk to find out uh, which are the conditions of the company and how to, how to change them. So you can do it very fast. You can do it very fast, and the fast you do that, the best is for the business, for the company, for the people involved. Lesson number seven, be austere, so that when bad times come, you don't have to lay off. When uh, are good times, capitalize strongly and accelerate the growing, and in the bad times, don't need to make layouts. Because Lesson number eight, make some small mistakes. I'm now safe at going in for you. <laughs> Lesson number nine, efficiency matters. Use linear programming to optimize. To manage money, the, the responsibility is to be efficient. My test is about uh, linear programming, uh, that's operation research, that uh, uh, is to, to optimize functions, optimize uh, results that one engineer is someone who makes with one dollar what others that are not engineers make with two dollars. Lesson number 10, be investor, not speculator. You are very euphoric, very positive, very optimist, and you get to the euphoria, and everything go up, 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 and a lot of inflation of assets and crazy things. And in the other way, you are pessimistic, you are depressed, and everything is bad, everything will become worse, and you get out of everything, any time, any price. That's completely rational. We don't, we don't worry about uh, the, the, what is happening because there is a, a crisis today, like it was the 95 crisis. We invest more. Lesson number 11, everyone has setbacks. His first setback, his father died when he was 13. His second setback, in 1997, he had heart surgery. His third setback, in 1999, his wife died. He would build her a museum. Lesson number 12, success is not about money, but about life, family, 
and other interests. I think the success is not uh, to make money or life. The, the success is your family, your friends. In this way, I think I am very successful. I have been very successful because of my fathers, my sisters, my brothers, and especially because of my, my family, my children, my wife. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments and questions below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.